Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the ICMR exam syllabus change. Uh, I believe all of you already knew it that the ICMR exam is uh, now no longer termed as ICMR exam. It is termed as DHR ICMR BRET exam. Earlier it was termed as ICMR GRF, simply as ICMR GRF. Now it is being termed as uh, DHR ICMR BRET. So the exam name is BRET. So if you heard the name BRET, it's not a new exam. It's basically the same old ICMR GRF examination now with a rebranding and rename, right? And it's not only the rebranding and renaming happen, but there are some changes being made in the overall way the exam is conducted and exam was conducted earlier. So here is a very simple table for all of you to explain the changes that are being done in the ICMR GRF examination, overall examination pattern, uh, the syllabus and all these things. If there is any change and also there is one good news for all of the aspirants because they have increased the seat for stipend. They increased the seat from 150 candidates to 500 candidates. So let's see all the parameters and uh, the changes that are being done in ICMR GRF that was there until 2023 and uh, from 2024 onwards we have DHR ICMR BRET and what are the changes that's done in this examination. So the parameter is full, uh, in, in the parameter it's uh, the earlier ICMR means Indian Council of Medical Research Junior Research Fellowship. So it was termed as ICMR GRF. Now it is termed as Department of Health Research DHR ICMR Biomedical Research Eligibility Test. Biomedical Research Eligibility Test or BRET, Biomedical Research Eligibility Test. Okay. Next thing is a conducting body. So the conducting body earlier was ICMR, PGIMER, Chandigarh. Now it is being conducted by DHR ICMR and National Testing Agency. Now they are providing it to National Testing Agency. They are providing all the examinations slowly, slowly to all National Testing Agency to conduct the examination. Next is the total number of fellowship. Earlier it was 150 candidates. Now it is one. Uh, it is 500 candidates. So it's a jump of more than three times. Uh, okay. Exam pattern, earlier there was section A which was compulsory and there was section B or C, you need to choose either of that, these are optional sections. But now there are three sections, section A, B and C and all are compulsory, right? So the marks, 50 marks for section A, 50 marks for section B and 50 marks for section C and all are compulsory. The nature of sections, if you look at the, the earlier it was aptitude in section A which was compulsory and you need to choose either option uh, section B or section C. It is optional subject that you can choose on your own based on your subjective preferences, based on your existing BSc, MSc uh, stream of interest. But now uh, the compulsory subject is aptitude. It was compulsory then, it is compulsory now. We have cross-disciplinary fundamental subjects, compulsory now and one chosen specialization, you can choose one specialization, be it biochemistry, be it cell biology, microbiology. Uh, so uh, any of this subject from the list that they provided, you need to choose one specialization, 50 marks for that. And the syllabus, uh, earlier it was largely following CSIR net syllabus. Now it is still, I'm, I, I'll not say it, it's not following CSIR net syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is much more specific this time, it is little bit detailed and we'll discuss about the ICMR uh, syllabus, the DHR ICMR bread syllabus in a separate video to give you an understanding of what syllabus changes have been done and whether the syllabus is different from CSIR net or how much similarity the DHR ICMR bread syllabus is with CSIR net syllabus. That's a topic of different video discussion but now you'll realize that what I'll say as, as an overall idea, CSI net syllabus means basically anything under the umbrella of life sciences under CSI net. That thing is already here. So some portion of that syllabus is cut out and little more specialized to, to fit into the ICMR bread criteria. So that's what they did. 
uh, in this time. So that's the basic changes between the ICMR GRF and DHR ICMR BRET. So any existing video on the ICMR GRF earlier are not going to be applicable from uh, you know 2024 onwards. So that's why I'm making a new video on this ICMR syllabus and ICMR examination scheme so that you get to know about it. Hopefully they are not going to change this syllabus in the upcoming 5 or 10 years. So DHR ICMR BRET is going to be the upcoming examination for the ICMR point of view. So if you are from the field of microbiology, if you are from the field of sciences related to the healthcare, then you can go into this examination because the number of seats also are increased, right? So all the very best and if you want to know detail about the ICMR syllabus, then watch my video on ICMR BRET syllabus separately and also watch my video on the details of DHR ICMR BRET examination to get a clear idea about this exam pattern, eligibility criteria uh, and, uh, and, and, and every single details of it. Okay, so I'll see you there in the other videos. And if you think that you want guidance to get qualified for this examination, we make, we already have a, a pen drive package with video lectures, which is designed for CS and but it has all the elements needed to qualify for ICMR BRET examination as well as GET Life Science examination. So you can get that uh, self preparation kit from us and uh, now we have doubled the content inside of it, 64 GB pen drive and you will get 5 books. Books are optional, you can get only pen drive as well. If you want to get that then please contact us in this given number and also visit our website www.shomusbiology.com and also check our application.